Hey, good morning all. It is West Virginia Homesteading Mama. It is Thursday, July the 14th. We are here to pick up our um, Azure standard order. Um, we're early. Um, since I am the drop coordinator, I tried to get here a little bit early. Um, I won't be able to film because I will have to make sure everybody's getting their stuff. Um, so I will show you everything that I got once I get back home. I have some other errands to run and I'll be going to Kroger, the farmer's market, our local discount bread store. So once I get back from all of my errands later this morning, I will show you everything that I got. See you in a little. Hey guys, I am back from running my errands. It is 1047. I went and picked up my Azure order. I went to our local farmer's market and I went to Kroger. So I'm going to take you down to the counter because some of this stuff has been out um, of the cooler, refrigerator. I've had it in um, cooler bags, but that's not the same. So let me take you down. I'll show you my Azure order, my farmer's market order, and my Kroger. Guys, from Azure Standard, I got 25 pounds of Durham wheat. This is used to make pastas and so forth. I picked up... 50 pound of the hard white wheat because it is hard, hard to get. I've been trying for several months. I got a pound of the whole mustard seed. I picked up a pound of organic garlic granules. Oh, I should open these. Um, I picked up one of these North Coast organic apple juices. To try it and see how we like it. Um, I also picked up 12 of the gallon glass jars because they've been hard to get your hands on lately too. And Azure has the best price on them. They're under $20 for four. But keep in mind, you do have to buy the lids separately. How to do this one-handed. Um, these are the gallon jars. Let me set you down for a minute. And I'll show ya. Okay, this is the gallon jar. Sorry about my hand in the way there, but I got 12 of those. Then I ordered 12 of the lids. Um, of course, the Azure order always, usually comes with a sales flyer. This one is for August. So you can look through it and see what's going to be on sale. Um, but it's always good to check the clearance section. That way, sometimes you can get a good deal. I picked up five pounds of the chocolate rainbow drops. My grandkids and my son-in-law love those. I picked up one of the organic peanut butters, the dark roasted peanut butter. I picked up three of the peach fruit spread to try. I got another um, bag of whole vanilla beans. This is actually just a one ounce. There's usually like six or seven in that. I picked up these measuring spoons. They're supposed to fit in your spice jars better. I got a box of the frozen blackberries. I'm going to divide those and make cobblers or muffins. I got a five pound block of the mozzarella cheese to shred. And then I picked up the um, Mother's Choice, um, 18 pounds of the one pound cartons of the Mother's Choice butter, just to throw in my freezer. We, I really like this for cooking and, um, and baking my, using in my um, homemade buttermilk biscuits. Over here from the farmer's market, I got four bell peppers. This was a little basket of tomatoes. I got that. This whopping cabbage and three cucumber. That was all I got at the farmer's market. All of that only cost me $10 at the farmer's market. At Kroger, I picked up some of the $1.29 whole milk. The buttermilk was not included in that. Um, the milk was on sale for $1.29 this week. I got three, plus I got a 2% for my mother-in-law and I already dropped it off to her. The buttermilk was $2.99. I picked up 
three quarters of a pound of Colby Jack cheese. I need to find some that place better to get that. It was $7.50 for three quarters of a pound. Kroger also had their pork loins on sale for $1.69 a pound, down from $2.99 a pound. This is a little over three and a half pound. It was $6.05. They were limiting you to three of those, but I only picked up one. I'm gonna cut that actually to pork chops. I picked up a big thing of Hormel pepperoni. I need to go to Sam's and get those. They're so much cheaper at Sam's. I got some shredded mozzarella for pizza night. Of course, I should have just shredded up what I got from Azure, but I didn't. Then I got two things of the grated Parmesan. Sam's is not carrying that anymore for some reason. I picked up a thing of Caramel Delight ice cream, some Carb Master Vanilla Yogurt for my smoothies, sour cream for taco night and to make a honey bun cake, two half gallons of unsweetened Simple Truth almond milk. This was on sale as well. I picked up two of these skillet potatoes in the Parmesan and herb. They were marked down to $1.29. And they're good through December, so I've got almost six months on those. The morsels and more were marked down to $2.49. They actually expire the end of this month, but I can put them in a Mylar bag and they'll last longer. I picked up a thing of teriyaki marinade. This was on clearance for a dollar, I want to say a dollar seventy-nine. I picked up some caramel truffle coffee for $6.99. The Nutty Buddies were on sale for $3.99, so it was 50 cents off. The scallop potatoes were on clearance for 94 cents, so I got two of those. I picked up a thing of mini vanilla wafers for banana nut pudding, or banana pudding. These cookies were on sale. I picked up one of the Chips Ahoy with Hershey's and the Chunky. I'll have to get my receipt and see what they were. The Petite Cherry tomatoes, I got two of those. Those were on sale for like a dollar and a half. I picked up a 99 cent bag of baby carrots. I found this mixture of vegetable melody blend. It's broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots for salads. $3.09 reduced. This was like $6.20 if you didn't get the reduced bag. I picked up a chopped romaine lettuce for salads. $4.99 for this two pound of Driscoll strawberries, and they actually look pretty good. They smell good. Picked up um, eight bananas. I also picked up some peaches. They were on sale for 88 cents a pound. They're kind of hard, so they'll ripen up. I got another package of bagels. This Panera sourdough was marked down to $2.99 from $5.99, so $3 off. I'm gonna drop that in my deep freeze. I got this heat and serve brown bread from Cheesecake Factory, $2.49, regular $4.99. That's going in the deep freeze as well. This wholesome oat bread was reduced to $1.99 from $3.99, going in the deep freeze. Their nature's own honey wheat bread was on sale for $1.99 a loaf. So I picked up three of those. Two will go in the deep freeze and one will go in the refrigerator. And they're good until the 26th. Then I picked up 60 of the Kroger large eggs. They were almost $10 for 60. I spent a total. It doesn't look like much. Um, after my coupon, I spent $130.77. I also got had another thing of bananas I gave to my mother-in-law. But, um, yeah, the strawberries were $4.99. The chopped romaine was I say 15 in an e-coupon, and then I had a $5 gift card. So, but anyway, is everything I got today. 
um, like I said, I had to go out and do some errands, pick up my Azure order. So that's it. All right, I got everything put away. Um, I cut up that pork loin and I ended up getting 20 chops out of it when I cut it up. So that is three, three different meals. Um, the five pounds of blackberries I got from Azure Standard, I divided those up and I got um, six baggies um, of three cups each. But anyway, I divided it up so it would fit in my freezer a lot better and it is now recipe ready. Um, don't quite know what I'm gonna do with that ginormous head of cabbage I bought this morning and that cabbage was only two bucks. I wish I would have gotten more of them. Maybe I'll go back Saturday and see if the same farmer is there and get some more. Um, we had a tree actually fall through our garden um, back in the 1st of June. And it tore the fence and took it out. And the deer have since gotten in there and eaten the beans, the tomatoes, the potato plants. I still need to go over and dig it up and see if there's any uh, potatoes. But... I have a few things growing on my porch. Nothing has produced yet. Um, that's why you should always have a backup plan when you're planning on growing your own garden. You don't know what the season's going to hold, um, what the weather's going to do. You might produce um, a lot. Um, and then again, a storm can come through and blow a tree right smack dab in the middle of your garden. Something you that you did not expect. Um, that's what happened to us this year. Last year, our garden done really well. I may go back Saturday and get a bushel of beans from the farmer. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, since I'm not growing my own, I could at least get theirs and can them up. Um, but that's all for today. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'm going to try to be putting out new videos more often. I just haven't. Um, I'm not working again. <sighs> I'm just trying to conserve gas by not going out near as often. Um, and money. So, anyway, I get to see my new grandbaby this weekend. Um, she was born July the 1st, and she weighed um, six pounds, nine ounces. Her name is Winsley Willow, and in my book, she's the most gorgeous thing there ever was next to her mama when she was born. Uh, but that's all. So be sure and like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend.